From killing Cyborg to a secret way to beat the Cake Queen. Here are 15 ways to get infinite belly and blocks fruit. Swan is one of the best bosses to server hop in the first sea, as well as the island he's on. Because on Prison Island, there are not one, not two, but three bosses. We've got Warden, Chief Warden, and Swan. Warden will get you 6k belly. After killing Chief Warden, you'll get 10,000 belly. And after killing Swan, you'll get 15,000 belly. That's 31,000 belly combined you could make every three minutes, which is equal to 620,000 belly per hour. You just have to keep server hopping these and hoping all three of them will be there. Swan is your most important boss because he alone will get you 15,000 belly as well as the chance to get his pink coat. This accessory gives you 200 HP and 10% increase on gun damage. But who even uses guns anymore? Swan spawns every 30 minutes, but make sure to prepare for him because he uses both unawakened and awakened versions of spider fruit. Swan is literally the best boss in the first seat of server hop and if you server hop him for an hour, along with the 620,000 belly, you'll probably get that pink coat too. Moving on to the next boss in the first sea, and here we have the Magma Admiral. Magma Admiral is located on the Magma Village Island, where you can also buy a soul cane from the Living Skeleton. Magma Admiral has 14,750 HP, deals 284 damage for each close range punch attack, uses C and X Magma Fruit moves, and respawns every 10 minutes. Upon completing the Magma Admiral quest, you'll receive 15,000 belly, the same amount as the Swan quest, but you'll also get 3 million XP. Many players say Magma Admiral is easier to kill, because his attacks are easier to avoid, and he's much slower than Swan. With a proper fruit, it won't take you longer than a minute to kill Magma Admiral, meaning you could make around 900k per hour just by server hopping this boss. I know a fact that you rage killing this next boss. I'm talking about Fishman Lord, who has two different forms. His second form is faster, does more damage, and gains back all health upon the death of his first form. There's nothing worse than seeing his health bar turn green after it was red just a second ago. He's considered to be among the hardest bosses to kill in the first C, because he's stronger but gives the same amount of money as if you killed Swan. But while that's true, Fishman Lord also gives almost 3 times more XP than Swan does, and you might even get a trident. Subscribe if you pretty much hate this boss, but love how easy you can level up and make around 500k belly an hour on top of that, just by server hopping him. Moving on to the coolest boss in the first C, Cyborg. Cyborg is the last and strongest boss in the first C, and not many people kill him for money because he's got 3 times more HP than Magma Admiral, but gives you only 5k belly more. However, if you want to make money quicker in Blox Fruits, you should consider server hopping him. Why? Well, there's a chance Cyborg might drop his Cool Shades, which are considered to be among the best accessories in the game. Cool Shades boost your running speed by 17.5%, increase your damage on any attack by 7.5%, and give plus 100 energy and health. It'll be way easier and quicker for you to server hop other bosses once you get those glasses. Thunder God is definitely the ugliest boss in the first seat, but that's not why we're here. Thunder God spawns every 10 to 15 minutes, and has close range stunning moves which do quite a good amount of damage to players around his level. This boss gives you 20k belly, and has 2 times less HP than Cyborg, meaning you could kill him in a minute or a minute and a half depending on the damage you deal. By server hopping Thunder God, you can expect to make 800k belly in an hour. Now moving on to the second C, the first boss we have is Diamond. He's located in the Flower Hill and upon completing Diamond Quest, you will get about 12.65 million XP and 25k belly, with a chance to get a long sword from him. An easy way to kill him is to keep your distance and spam range attacks at him. By doing this, you could kill him every minute and make around 1.5 million belly per hour. Now that's quite impressive. The next up is Jeremy. This is another boss located at the Kingdom of Rose Island, who gives you the same amount of belly as Diamond, but is easier to kill according to many players, because Jeremy has about 10,000 less HP than Diamond. However, Jeremy uses the Spring Fruit as his main way of attack, so make sure you come prepared. By server hopping this boss, you could make about the same as if you were server hopping Diamond, and maybe even a little bit more. Alright, so now we have possibly the most interesting, but not really effective way of making money in the second seat. Artillo Quest is the quest in which you need to kill 50 Swan Pirates, Jeremy me and solve a puzzle. Upon completing this quest, you will receive 50,000 belly, 35 million XP, and some other things. But since this takes longer than any other quest, it's not really recommended. However, you can make around 600,000 an hour if you do this over and over. Next up, we've got Smoke Admiral. Smoke Admiral is a boss located on the hot and cold island, and he spawns every 20 minutes. He uses Jitty and Smoke Fruit, and upon completing the quest, you can count on getting close to 30,000 belly. If you kill him once a minute, it would mean you could make 1.8 million belly an hour. The last one from the second C is Fajita. This boss deals over 1000 damage per hit and can be extremely hard to kill without a good fruit. Fajita uses moves from the gravity fruit while holding a gravity cane and he spawns every 15 minutes. Upon killing him, you'll receive 25,000 belly and a whopping 19 million XP. There's also a chance he might drop his gravity cane. You could easily make around 1.2 to 1.3 million by server hopping burrito. Sorry, I mean Fajita. We set our foot in the third C and the first boss we've got here is Island Empress. For attacking, Island Empress uses 
uses Dark Step and 3 moves from the old Love Fruit. She has 128,000 HP and spawns every 30 minutes on the Hydra Island. Upon completing the quest, you'll receive 30k Belly and 70 million XP. You'll also have a small chance to get Serpentine Bow, but today we're only going to be counting money. Most of her attacks require you to be near her for them to be effective, so if you're far enough away, she will not deal much damage. Super Hopping Island Empress for an hour will get you about 800 to 900,000 Belly. Next up, we've got Kilo Admiral, another female boss. She spawns every half an hour at the Great Tree Island and has around 140,000 HP. Upon defeating her, you will get 35,000 belly and 78 million XP. She uses the retired Kilo Fruits X and C moves and Sharkman Karate. Super Hopping Kilo Admiral for just one hour will make you almost 1.5 million belly. Captain Elephant is one of the trickiest bosses in the third sea. He is located on the Floating Turtle Island and has 160,000 HP and deals 2.3 thousand damage per hit. He uses twin hooks, which he can drop once he's defeated, while also infusing them with aura. He also wears a jaw shield, but he doesn't have the buffs and doesn't drop it. This boss respawns every 30 minutes, and upon defeating him gives you 40,000 belly and 90 million XP. Server hopping Captain Elephant for an hour will get you close to 1.6 belly if you move fast. Who's the prettiest boss in the whole of Bloxfruits? Well, beautiful pirate of course. This boss is not only beautiful, but also a great boss for server hopping. Beautiful pirate can be found at the floating turtle in a gigantic tree with a door and has a respawn time of 45 minutes. He uses Cavender as his main weapon, which he can drop upon defeating. He's got two phases and once the beautiful pirate is low on health, he will go into his second phase. From then, he will start to deal more damage, become much faster, emit purple particles, and his face becomes distorted similarly to how Don Swan's second phase looks. Upon defeating him, you will be rewarded with 50,000 belly and a stunning 100 million XP. Super hopping, this boss will easily get you 2.5 million belly an hour. Also another fact, the beautiful pirate is regarded as the strongest normal boss in the whole game, just barely surpassing Cake Queen. Speaking of which, let's see how much money you can make server hopping Cake Queen. She's arguably one of the most beloved bosses in the entire game when it comes to farming, and that's because you will get 30 to 45 thousand belly for killing her even without starting a quest. Cake Queen's got a lot of HP, I'm talking 261 thousand a lot, and respawns every 30 minutes. Killing her won't be easy at all, but with the help of a good fruit and maybe a few friends. It'll be a bit easier. A few friends? Man, I don't even have one friend, let alone a few. Anyways, upon completing the quest and killing Cake Queen, you'll be rewarded with approximately 70,000 belly and maybe even with a buddy sword. Super hopping Cake Queen for an hour will easily get you well over 3 million belly. This is literally the best method for making belly in the entire game. Did you know this? Comment down below. So there you have it, 15 bosses that will literally get you infinite belly if you just server hop. Make sure to subscribe and watch this video on the screen. Or don't, I can't tell you what to do.